Hello to everybody. Many years ago, in Italy, there was an, ad an advertisement that said we would have struck you with special effect, but we are science, not science fiction. And <laughs> so, our proposal, we are a, a very large group of authors for, uh, for this paper. We are 16 people. Uh, it's a very, very large group uh, for, for a paper. Um, because uh, um, we, we met last year in a special occasion, with, in a special event, and we uh, start to, to think about uh, how to educate, how to foster uh, open data in archaeology, especially in Italy. So uh, we decide to to write a manifesto. Uh, our manifesto is uh, um, a simple declaration of intent about the right of open access to archaeological data for the entire citizenship. Not only for research, not only for archaeologists, but for all the citizens. The rationale behind this idea is that all archaeological remains are part of our heritage, of our legacy. As such, they belong to all of us. All the data and all the information connected to the physical remains. <coughs> remains are our legacy but also the information, also the data they are, that they are connected to. Doug spoke before about open access. For open data, we have a famous uh, definition made, for, made by uh, opendefinition.org. Open means that anyone can freely assess, use, modify and share for any purpose, even for commercial purpose, <coughs> and that this use and especially reuse of data is subject at most to uh, cities, the provenance, the attribution, and to uh, uh, re reopen uh, reopen the data. The, the, the important thing is that open data had to be freely used and reused is not only an exposition of data. This is not, this is open access in, in, a, sort, in a sort of thing. It's, it's open access that I can see data, but with data I I have the possibility of reusing them, of create new things, of aggregate data we have with our data. And so uh, reuse is the main thing, not only exposition of data. We had to, to make a step back where uh, we come from. Uh, in 2014, the, the MAPA lab of the University of, uh, of Pisa uh, that uh, works on open data from 2011 and foster uh, open data policies in Italy uh, decided that was the right time for uh, educating archaeologists in open data. <laughs> The problem is that uh, if we open all the data, but no one has uh, the knowledge for using them, all our work is unuseful. So uh, we promoted what uh, we called 
the open school for archaeological data. It's uh, a school, it's open and it's free. Uh, 14 young archaeologists coming from uh, all over Italy had the possibility to uh, work with us for one week and to understand, uh, I hope, <laughs> we were able to make them understand the possibility of open data. The idea was to start to create a real community of practice. Uh, in, in this uh, uh, conference, there is another section about uh, uh, another session about um, uh, the community of open source software that in Italy is called Archeofos. And <coughs> In some way, this community had fall to create a real community of practice. So uh, <clears throat> we, we thought that uh, one of our main uh, objective, uh, main aims was to um, create a real community of practice, of people who worked together and who were able to learn together, together and uh, uh, to create a network a network between, between them. Uh, for this, we repeat in a, in a, in a smaller uh, way our experience in, in Pompeii with um, uh, an European project called Open Pompeii. And we uh, have the possibility of making another, another school that uh, we call Studium. Uh, so, uh, the first group that was composed by uh, 18 person uh, now is larger and is a group of more than 30 person. It's a small group, but is the base for a bigger group. <coughs> From the first group uh, was born the idea of create a manifesto, a manifesto to speak to archaeologists and uh, to educate them and to promote uh, open data in, uh, in archaeology. Paola will uh, talk about more to, more, in more detail about uh, the manifesto. Forgive me for bad English, I had to read slowly. Why open data are so important in archaeology? 40 years of stratigraphic excavation <coughs> have produced thousands, billions of data. Data harvesting have an expensive cost. So why not we reuse data? Through use and reuse of archaeological data, we will be able to make really cost-effective our data harvesting, optimizing production costs. This practical consideration must be added to another one. Opening and sharing open data generates a, a virtuous circle. By this one, both scientific community and citizen as a whole can benefit. We try to fix some points about the virtuous circle of archaeological open data. The first, making data harvesting process transparent through sharing open data. An archaeologist work like an antenna receives sig signals from the past, decoding and then retransmitting them. The signals were reduced by the long time and are definitively destroyed by excavation themselves. We will be able to verify several times the interpretation projects. Sharing open data, we can ask them new questions, generating new knowledge. The second, working together quietly and creatively to improve archaeology. The increase the increased uh, av av forgive me. <laughs> allora, the increased availability of more data processable, we will um, <coughs> we will able to create a new perspective for the research. The third, encouraging ethical behavior, information sharing 
makes everyone accountable for protecting cultural heritage and leading the foundation for shared management of cultural heritage. Promoting the development of innovative service, saving time and cost in the management of archaeological heritage, create value and accountability for cultural institutions themselves. So, why subscribe Manifesto? We believe that in this way archaeology regains a strong social relevance as a public service. Allora, uh, who we are? Uh, since um, October 29, 2014, uh, one, uh, 130 people have signed the manifesto and also the, wall of the following project, Wikimedia Italia, uh, Mappa Project, Open Pompey Project, Ar Archeo and Arte 3D Sapienza. Can be this manifesto an uh, European manifesto? This is an Italian pilot project by the instance of opening and sharing the raw data called be an instance of all European archaeologists. Every country, every country has a different situation about attitude, laws and management of archaeological information. But the goal could be the same, reinforce our research methodology in order to enhance the histor historical landscape preservation. <laughs> so for this, uh, we want you. Um, uh, every one of you can contribute to the manifesto. Read and sin uh, sin sign up the manifesto. If you agree to it, you can give a contribute, discuss and diffuse it, become active part of its writing, changing and criti criticize it. Go to our wiki, follow us on Twitter or Facebook, subscribe our discussion group on Facebook called Open Minds. Our next live uh, event is... Uh, uh, the Pompeii Hackathon, promoted by one of the projects that signed Manifesto, Open Pompeii. The Hackathon called <coughs> Scriptorium. We will sustain citizens who care about Pompeii, helping them to make as more transparent as possible what is there, opening archaeological data, and what is done here, opening procurement data. F uh, the right to knowledge guaranteed by transparency is referring both to the past and the present. The Italian archaeological community should drive the progress of citizen engagement into a new management of cultural heritage, based also on open data. Uh, however, Pompeii, as a part of world heritage, is an occasion for international archaeological community to affect policy about cultural heritage. Thank you.